Welcome back everybody, my name is Foxide and thank you so much for joining me today as we continue our journey across the Sinnoh region in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond with our Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you missed the previous episodes, make sure you check those out. The playlist will be in the description below. And if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to know when more content gets posted to the channel, hit that notification bell as well. So, last episode, we managed to beat Team Galactic in their building in Eterna City. We freed the bike uh, bike shop guy, I guess you could call it. And we got a free bike, and now we're gonna be on our way to Heart Home City through Cycling Road. So, let's do it. I have no idea what to expect. Except for that, I do know there will be a lot of battling. Um, in in every Pokemon game, the cycling road, because I believe there's one in just about every Pokemon game, always has a whole bunch of people to battle. Like, a whole lot of people to battle. So this should be interesting. Ugh, oh, man, I miss Birdo. Rest in peace, Birdo. If you don't know who Birdo is, Check out the previous episodes. We are leveling. A lot. I really wish there was a way to turn that off. I mean, I know we could not battle trainers, but... It's kind of a thing of mine that I really, really don't like leaving trainers unbattled like because then i'll go back and i'll be exploring and i'll i'll run into a trainer that i haven't battled and it's just a, a huge pain so i like to battle every trainer i see along the way even if it means that i get a little bit over leveled like a weird ocd thing of mine i guess or more maybe it's more of a like preventing a future issue thing because it really is annoying when you're like exploring late game and you have to fight some trainer that's got like level 10 Pokemon because you forgot about him. So dumb. No, I don't want to learn Roar. Are you gonna strangle us? That's a little scary. So, hey, watch where you're going or did you want to challenge me? Uh, sure. Light is already level 24. I need to check the levels of the rest of the team. Um, probably even things out a little bit. I think Pink Shell is pretty far behind. 21? Um, I might put Pink Shell at the front of the party. She doesn't evolve until level 30 anyway, so good to have her up front. Also, now that we have an actual Crobat, we need to get a um, Capsule Ball for this Pokemon. And we're going to have to get one for Flight as well. We'll have to make those. Ew. Cyclist Nicole. Oh, we'll send out Starly. All right, Nicole. Well, I should have you know that by now, in this point in the game, you should have already evolved your Starly, so... So, okay. A little bit of fun, interesting Pokemon ch chat. Think about it. You start in the most basic ass town with hardly anybody living there like maybe one or two more people and conveniently the professor usually or somebody related to the professor 
and you have to work your way through the region from the easiest gym all the way to the hardest gym. Okay, great. Let's not even get started on you're the one that has to be the big bad guy team. Let's not even touch that. Let's just think about the progression. Just think about it. You're in the Pokemon universe. This Nicole chick, she didn't start in your town. She didn't have to start at the beginning. Maybe she was born here. You know, maybe she was born in Eterna City and this is her home. So she hasn't had to beat a gym leader to get here. She doesn't have, probably doesn't have any badges. Probably caught her Starly, you know, whenever. So uh, it's so weird to think about. It's like, what if somebody from, you know, the fourth or fifth town that you run into were to start their journey would they have to start from all the way back where you started or would they start in the town that they're in now and the gym leader would just use weaker pokemon that you know corresponds with it being their first challenge i know there are some theories that say that um you know the gym leader would just adjust their strength to the challenger's strength which does make sense but also that doesn't really coincide with the anime, which is totally different. I mean, the battling's different, everything's different. So it's it's just kind of weird to think about. It's like, where would somebody start? Like, that would be an interesting take on a Pokemon game. Start the main character route in the middle of the map. You know, every, every there, nothing's too strong around you. It's not overpowered, so you still can like start out. But, you know, the gym that you start out in is like normally the fourth gym. So maybe you can challenge that gym or you have to go back and challenge the first one way four towns over or something. Or you have to challenge this gym right when you're weak. And then, you know, again, when you're stronger, you know, something like that. Some some kind of mix it up, mix it up a little bit. Make it to where it's not just start weak and get strong, but start in the middle and see what happens. It could be interesting. I feel like it could be interesting. Play from the point of an NPC and not just the main character. Anyhow, that's my, that's my uh, two cents on the matter. I think that would be intriguing. This is another thing that's like super weird. Why would a trainer have a Starly and a Staravia? Like, you as the player would not have a Starly and a Staravia. So why does an NPC? Make him have something different. Make him have something that's part of the area. Like, you know, they would have something from the forest and maybe something from the cave like maybe they'll have a geo dude and a um what the hell is something you can catch in the forest like a warple like a butterfree or something you know mix it up i know they uh keep it towards typings too like they will have your your aviarists who only use bird pokemon and whatnot but you can still mix it up there's all sorts of flying types Make it unique. So make it cookie cutter. I hate cookie cutter. But I am enjoying the game though. I'm not complaining. I'm just throwing ideas out there that I think would be interesting. Zubat.
Oof, we know how bad that poison thing can be. Do not want to be poisoned. Mean look? Alright, we'll take a mean look. I get those all the day at work. All day at work, so why not? Gasp, he says. I feel you, man. It's freaking hot in here. It's like 80 degrees. Cyclist Rachel sent out Shank. Shanks is adorable. Oh my god, that reminds me. I remember back in the day when I played Pokemon Diamond, um, the, like when it first came out, I caught a shiny Shanks. It was one of my first shinies. Actually, it was the only shiny that I got with the radar thing. Um, and it was so cool. I was so happy. I was like, man, I did not expect this shiny. I can't remember what the hell I was after. Um, but I got a shiny Shanks. And they're really cool looking. Um, it's definitely not my favorite Pokemon to use, but I think it would be interesting to use one. If it was, especially if it was shiny. I love a freaking shiny Shanks. I just remembered that these things know electric type moves and I am not half ground yet. So <laughs> we could have easily died here. That's all right, we got it. I might have flight catch me a blue um, shell loss and trade for blue shell, like trade pink shell for a blue shell loss named blue shell. That'd be cool, right? I think that'd be cool. I'd be a fan. One Pokemon. All right, cyclist Kayla. Ooh, a Pikachu. Oh my God, I haven't seen a Pikachu yet. That's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna run away from that. Be out. Uh, Flight doesn't really have anything good against it. Let's just send Chad. Chad's resistant. He doesn't have anything super effective, but at least he won't die. Avoided the move in time to your shout. I didn't shout. Weird. I did it again. Huh. check something. I'm gonna check our, our, um, Poketch thing. Because we got some kind of app that we're like, has to do with friendship or something? This thing. do oh if you hold the a button if you hold the a button over them it will show you in hearts 
what your friendship level is. So these guys are following our pointer around because they're, I'm guessing, two big hearts is max? I don't know. This one doesn't have any. Shellos just has one small heart. Maybe it goes one small heart, two small heart, one big heart, two big hearts? Makes sense to me. Anyhow, we're at a cycling road. Who this? You have a great bike, so I'd like to give you these great stickers. All right, thanks. I like stickers. Go through Mount Coronet from here and you can get to Heart Home City. Go through Mount Coronet. Try decorating your ball caps with the stickers if you want your Pokemon to be. Okay, so we're about to do the contest thing. All right. Wait, so I know Mount Coronet is like the entire freaking mountain that splits Ho and or splits Seno in half, but you have to go through it to get to. Art home. Really? Oh. Okay, we're actually above Orberg. Heart Home's to the right. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm gonna pick these berries. Uh, oh my god, they're raspberries? Yo, we need raspberries because there's like some stickers that we really freaking want. Which by the way, I should point out that the um, sticker shop in Florama Town changes daily. And I checked it today just out of curiosity and to get a couple stickers and it has different stickers available today than it did yesterday. That's crazy. So you've got different inventory of the shops on different days. That's whack. I haven't experienced stuff like that where you have to keep track of the days until freaking Johto back in the day. What route is this? Uh, 206. I don't think I have a Pokemon encounter for route two. Why is there a tree here? Oh, okay. I want to go up here and see what's up here. Oh, I guess this is our encounter. Yo, I'll take a Stunky. I mean, I'm not going to use it because we've already got Batwoman and Batwoman's poison type, so we don't need another one. But we'll take it. Be a good tank if we lose somebody. You know the drill. What do we name Stunky? Let me know in the comment section. What do you want to name Stunky? I'm gonna go ahead and put honey on this tree here. We'll put like five. Yeah, feather it. Super rap hell. You know, I just thought about it and I'm pretty sure this is where you get Gibble in the original game. So if that's the case, it would really kind of suck if our encounter was Stunky instead of freaking Gibble. I would be a little upsetty spaghetti. A rost berry was planted. Yes, sprinkles and water. We need to plant a ton of berries. 
I hope later on there's like this giant berry field we can use. Instead of having to go all over the map to these little bitty dinky berry patches. We got a whole bunch of berries to plant if we want to get a bunch of different stickers. Hello, hiker man. Oh, you want to fight? All right. Well, I was going to go that way, but sure. We'll just fight instead. Theodore. Faint already. Faint, 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 faint. There we go. Another Onyx. Is this one gonna have sturdy too? Get Rocket. Have Rocket. I don't want you to have sturdy. Do you have Rocket? I wish we could do like an online trading thing. Um, I know the game just came out and that they plan on updating it in like a day or two, um, but still. I'd like to be able to trade my Alakazam and evolve it. That'd be great. Thanks. Look, now I gotta go all the way around you. You know how inconvenient that is for me? Um, okay, I know exactly who we're giving that to. Huh, I wonder who we would give a poison barb to. What a freaking mystery. You know what else do I got in here? Oh, yeah, okay, so the underground. I spent so much time in the underground, like you would probably not believe it, like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours in the underground, just digging and exploring and finding stuff and just having a great time. And I got all sorts of goodies, um, like all sorts of goodies. I got a fossil, um, I got a bunch of heart scales, lots of shards, a few useful items like Everstone, Damp Rock, some uh, plates, some tight plates, which are going to be super helpful. I'm going to actually give some um, some of these out. I'm going to give one to Chad. Um, I'm going to give Ifrit the charcoal. We're going to give the splash plate to Pink Shell. Um, I don't have anybody that knows bug type moves. Except for flight, but flight needs to be not holding anything in order for acrobatics to be useful. It lowers speed and allows ground type moves to hit flying types. And holders that are levitating. I don't know how that would be useful. Maybe with flame? And, uh, and, uh, what the hell is his name? Alakazam, or Kadabra, learn fling. Do I even have fling? I thought I did. Oh well, we'll cancel that then. Next. Oh, I guess we're running into something else. I just want to pop into this cave and see what it's about. Let me in, let me in.
Oh. Uh, does Flash work as a TM even though it's, I mean, an HM? Oh yeah, I guess it does. It's not, it's not a actual HM anymore. Okay. So don't forget, Alakazam is the only Pokemon that we have that knows frickin' Flash. All right. Uh, wait, what, what, what is this? Uh, hold on, before we start moving around, what's happening? Wayward Cave. Okay, so we get an encounter here. Um, before we go Batso, let's use the Repel and try and get a little deeper. Maybe we can get a Gibble in here. That'd be nice. That'd be some power. Just don't give me a freaking rock encounter. Okay, some guys over there we don't care about. Ooh, got a potion! Maybe a longer episode. I didn't expect uh, to find this cave here. What's happening? Uh, we need repel. So if you could like not, hey, thanks. Come on. Uh. I'm just gonna keep going up. If we weren't out of pel repels, I may just uh, teleport out of here because I don't want to encounter anything until we get the lower level. kind of annoying. Damn. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna... What do you mean? Seriously, I can't use teleport. That's the whole point of having teleport so that you don't have to have a freaking Escape rope. I know I have an escape rope. Come on. Really gonna make me use it Why is he hanging like that? That's weird. You're using a rope and you're making it look like he's hanging himself. Can you not? A little unapropes Okay, anyhow Okay, we're back in uh, Eterna City. I had to think about that for a minute. Let's buy some repels real quick. Do 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 twenty. That should be fine. I buy another freaking escape rope. Apparently, I need escape ropes. Hyper poster, super poster. I'm also gonna need more Pokeballs since I used so many in the underground. Kind of annoying that I can't buy great balls yet. Okay. Um, that's gonna be the end of that. I will explore Wayward Cave in a stream. I feel like it's gonna take some time and I really don't want to sit here for an hour on a recording trying to explore a cave because I have a problem with leaving things unexplored. Um, so that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you missed the previous episodes, make sure you check them out. The playlist will be in the description below. If you're new here, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications if you'd like to know when I post more content on the channel just like this one.
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or a name for one of the Pokemon that we caught, make sure you leave it down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bye!